Hi, I'm Dr. Chang, one of the pediatric rheumatologists here at Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego. Today, we are going to talk about some of the different imaging techniques that we use to get on our patients with arthritis and other rheumatic conditions. We are going to focus on three imaging types, x-rays, MRI, and ultrasound. X-rays are done using special machines that are like large cameras that use electromagnetic radiation to show a picture of your bones and tissues. The amount of radiation that is used is very small and very safe. You can see the X-ray machine here. X-rays are quick and painless. You're usually awake for your X-rays, so you can usually eat and drink before your X-ray is taken. Sometimes you are asked to take off your jewelry or other metal objects before you get your x-rays done. Sometimes you may have to wear a hospital gown. The parts of your body that are not being x-rayed will sometimes be covered with a piece of lead like this. And that will prevent unnecessary radiation exposure. During the x-ray, you will sit or lay down on the table Sometimes you will be strapped in so that you do not move or fall off during your x-ray. And the technician will use this machine to take pictures of the body parts your doctor wants to use. You will have to stay still for the very few seconds it takes to get the picture. While you are getting your x-rays done, your parents may be sitting here in the corner of the room or back here in the protected seat while your technician or radiologist will be behind here in the control area, and they will be able to see you while you are getting your x-rays done. So here we are in the MRI suite. So MRIs are done using special machines that produce a magnetic field and radio waves to show very detailed pictures of your body parts and organs. There is no radiation at all when you get an MRI done. But magnets are used to create the pictures, so you should let your doctor know if you have any metal in your body, such as a pacemaker or metal pins from a previous surgery. And you will need to remove any metal jewelry before you enter the MRI machine. Now, depending on what body parts are being scanned, an MRI can take anywhere from 20 minutes to a few hours. Because you have to lie still the entire time, children who cannot lie still are sometimes given sedation medications to keep them asleep while they're getting their MRIs done. Now, depending on the sedation medication, you may not be able to eat or drink before your MRI. Sometimes your doctors will want a special dye called contrast to be given during your MRI to help provide extra information to give the contrast, a technician or nurse will put a special needle called an IV into your hand or arm and the medication will be given through the IV. Before you are put into the MRI machine to get your pictures, you will lay down on this table. The MRI technician will then slide the table so that the body part your doctors want to get images of are the closest to the scanner inside the MRI machine. If you are awake during the MRI, you will probably hear loud banging and knocking noises, even if you are wearing earplugs. The MRI staff will be watching you carefully in this control area while you are getting your pictures taken, and you will be able to talk to them through an intercom. This is Maddie Seiler, who's one of our um, Juvenile Arthritis Foundation ambassadors. Maddie, what are you getting done today? I am doing a MRI for my wrist. And why are we doing this? Um, we're doing this because I have arthritis in my left wrist and we're trying to see if it's gotten better or not. And how do you feel right now before you're getting your MRI done? Are you nervous? Are you anxious? Um, well, because I've done MRIs before this, I'm like used to it, but I'm still a little nervous. <laughs> and what is something that you would like our patients to know um, before they get their MRIs done? Um, it's not as scary as you think it is. It's actually like pretty easy. Well, thank you so much for letting me talk to you today, Maddie. Good luck with your MRI. 
Dermatologists also sometimes use another imaging type called ultrasounds to get extra information about your body. This is a neat technique because ultrasounds can usually be done by the bedside while you are, while you are there and all the images can be done in real time. Ultrasounds produce images by using sound waves. Um, the sound waves are emitted by the probe and this is used to create the pictures. Because I'm on vacation this week, we have set up this ultrasound machine here at home and my daughter, Kira, will demonstrate the techniques we use to do an ultrasound. So because ultrasounds are usually done by the bedside, um, the patient is usually awake. Uh, patients are usually asked to wear loose clothing and sometimes to wear a hospital gown. So when um, we do ask that the patients sit or lie down or in a comfortable position, after they are in a comfortable position, we then use some gel just right here and we can apply it to the patient in the area that we are wanting to look at. And then we can use the probe, which will create the picture on the ultrasound screen. So here we are going to look at Kira's knee. And what we're seeing on the screen is her, where her quadriceps tendon attaches to her patella. And underneath that, is her joint space. So ultrasounds are fairly quick and painless. They can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes or even an hour depending on how many body parts are being scanned. Well, I hope I've answered some of your questions about what it is like to get either an x-ray or an MRI or an ultrasound. Obviously, if you have any questions about any of the imaging that your doctor has ordered for you, you should feel free to discuss your concerns with your doctor. Well, take care. Have a wonderful day.